Hey there, it's fitness coach and nutritionist Andrea Taylor from wellme.com. I'm really excited you're joining me today because I get to share with you a few of my favorite fitness hacks. As you know, I'm a busy working mom of four kids, all under the age of nine. I run my own gym and I also run our household. So life is really hectic, but I know I'm not alone. I'm sure you guys are right there with me. And a lot of times fitness is on the bottom of our to-do list, isn't it? So I decided to take a little time out and talk to you guys today about ways in which you can fit that bit of exercise in with my simple seven fitness hacks for busy moms. The time has come to put yourself first and schedule in that much needed you time and start feeling great again. You need to know these, so let's get started. The first of my seven fitness hacks for busy moms is timed workouts. What this means is if you have 15 minutes, let's say, you set a timer for 15 minutes and you can do a few different things. The first is you can do an AMRAP, which is as many rounds as possible. So you choose a few exercises, 10 to 15 each, and you just plow through those exercises as many times as you can going through that circuit within those 15 minutes. Go as fast as you can, try not to break. Remember, it's only that short amount of time that you have, so you put all of your energy and effort into it. Another thing you can do is set a timer and do a couple different exercises every minute on the minute. So let's say you have 10 minutes and you choose sit-ups, squats, and push-ups. You'll maybe do three sit-ups, four squats, and three push-ups. And every minute, that's what you do. Hit the floor, three sit-ups. Stand up, four squats, hit the floor, three push-ups. And then you rest for the remainder of that minute. When the next minute starts, you go again. Three, four, three. So what you wanna do is set your timer, pick a couple exercises, and when you're done with those exercises within the minute, you should have about 15 to 20 seconds recovery time before you start again. Timed workouts are amazing because you know you're gonna be done in X amount of time, and then you can go on with the rest of your day. Remember to choose challenging exercises because this is your one chance that you're gonna to get to exercise that day, and it's very short. So by the time you're done, you're gonna to wanna to feel like you've been exercising for 45 minutes, even though it's been 10 or 15. Number two, this works if you have little ones, and that's to do a run or a walk right before their nap time. So when I have my little one, and I know he's gonna to go to sleep for his nap probably at around noon, I'll go out for a jog around 11.30, which means by the time we get back to the house, he's out. And instead of transferring him to his bed and risking him waking up, I just let him sleep in the stroller. I'll bring the stroller inside and leave it in the entryway, and I'll finish everything I have to do while he naps. Number three, keep a gym bag in your car. I can't tell you how many times I've been out and about and I've driven past the gym and I don't have any kids with me and I have 30 minutes before I have to be somewhere and I wish I had my gym bag in my car because I could run in, get a quick workout and then go about my day with the kids. So make sure that you always keep a gym bag in your car because you never know when you're gonna have extra time at the park maybe to do a workout, when you have extra time before pickup or when you're running past the gym and you can get in and out in 30 or 40 minutes. Number four, I'm honestly surprised I don't see this more often. Work out during your kid's sports practice or their warm up before the game. If you're like me, you have kids that are in sports. And that means that you spend a lot of your time at the baseball fields or the soccer fields throughout the week for practices and for games. Practices are at least an hour and you usually have to warm up before the game at least 45 minutes. So instead of sitting there just waiting for the game to start or waiting for the practice to be over, do a workout. You can use the park benches. You can bring a mat with you and do stuff on the floor. You can go for a jog around the park. There are usually lots of places to work out where your kids are practicing their sports. So make the best use of that time. You can even bring a jogging stroller if you have little ones. Let them sit in the stroller while you run around and do some exercises around them or do some exercises at the park while they play. And if you need ideas, make sure to head on over to our YouTube channel where we have a park exercise video and you can copy that workout when you're at the park. 
Number five, invest in a few pieces for your home gym. I'd suggest a treadmill and a set of dumbbells, ranging from 10 to about 25 pounds. You can do a lot with dumbbells and a treadmill. You can do HIIT workouts, you can do weighted exercises, you can even use a dumbbell as a kettlebell. There are so many things you can do with just a simple set of dumbbells. And if you need ideas, head over to our YouTube channel where we have plenty of at-home workout videos for you. Number six, this one's a little tougher to swallow, but you have to remember that exercise should come before having a perfect house. Now, obviously we want our house to be clean, but it may be messy sometimes and that's okay. As long as your toilets and sinks are clean and it's sanitary in your house, it's not a big deal if the laundry stays out for an extra couple hours or if you have a few extra dishes in your kitchen sink. Don't put so much pressure on yourself to have a perfectly clean house all the time. And this leads us into number seven, which is taking a little bit of time for yourself is not selfish. So remember, a happy mom means everyone else in the house is gonna be happy. I know there's been plenty of times where I haven't exercised in a few days because, you know, life, and my husband looks at me because of the way that I act and says, mm, do you think you maybe need to go to the gym real quick? And that's because when I don't exercise, I get in a terrible mood. So if I'm happy, everyone else is happy, and that means that you should exercise. You need to take that little time for yourself to get that mental clarity, to get the extra stress out, and to keep yourself healthy. You wanna be healthy for your kids, and you wanna be happy for your husband, so make sure to just take a little bit of time for yourself. Even if you start with 10 minutes a day, it's a start, and then you can build up from there, but I promise, if you're happy, the rest of your household will be happy. So it's not selfish. Don't feel guilty about it. It's gonna be better for you in the end. I hope you found these seven fitness hacks for busy moms helpful. Please comment below if you have any other suggestions. They're always welcome. Let's start the conversation here and help each other out. Thanks for watching. Look after yourself and your family and of course, be healthy. Please check out the rest of my videos on my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit subscribe.